45 miles per hour is the speed limit on North Greenbush Road, the heavily traveled Route 4. Local police were patrolling the area last Tuesday night when they saw two cars race past them going more than 100 miles an hour. They followed and the chase was captured on their police cameras. Dash cam footage from the police department shows the first car flying past officers near Dudley Heights. As the police make a three point turn to follow in pursuit, they are almost hit by a second car. Not far down the road after one car crashed, North Greenbush police arrested 18 year olds Evan Kuhn and Daniel Goldston. Police estimate the cars were going 112 and 110 miles per hour. The two drivers charged with reckless endangerment, an illegal speed contest and more. The Stretch of roadway between Cooley Mazda and about the RPI Tech Park is pretty straight, so we do have a lot of speed issues through there. Uh, nothing typically this egregious, though. Three passengers between 15 and 17 were also involved. The car that lost control took out mailboxes and trash cans before hitting a tree, but no one was hurt. We're very lucky we didn't have any injuries in this incident, uh, though that's remarkable because it should have been fatalities, honestly, given, given those speeds. Route 4 still has debris from the incident. I went to the houses near the crash, and while neighbors did not want to go on camera, they said this road used to be bike and walker friendly. But now I noticed remains of an animal on the side of the road. I have kids that I've raised on this road, so it is kind of scary that they're not taking into consideration families, not just businesses. Jetta Smith grew up in the area and has had her business, Avita Tattoo, since 2009. She wants teens new to the road to remember driving is a big responsibility. I can remember being a kid and I can remember speeding. I understand and you're wanting to get where you're going, but you know, a motor vehicle is a large weapon. The younger teen passengers involved were turned over to their parents. Both 18-year-old drivers were released and will now have to appear in town court. Reporting in studio, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10 ABC.